A regular computer would take thousands of years to crack certain codes, as it does one operation at a time. But a computer that could conduct thousands of computations at once could crack that code in a second. Computers are basically a huge bunch of transistors, electronic switches that encode the basic computing bits, ones and zeros, kind of like a light switch. All computing is made up of a large number of bits, from video games through Facebook posts to launching a space mission. To develop computers that are light years ahead of today's, scientists have for years been trying to exploit one of the weirder facts of nature, quantum superposition, in which an object can be in several places at once. Today, computers are based on electrons whose electric charges makes them interact with one another, quickly ruining any superposition state. Quantum computers could use photons. Uncharged light particles can maintain a state of superposition much more easily. Weizmann Institute scientists have succeeded for the first time in building a transistor that switches and guides not electrons, but photons, a photonic router. To control the photon's movement, the scientists trapped a single atom on a chip, sending it photons with a special, minute optical resonator. The resonator holds the photons for a millionth of a second, forcing them to interact with the atom. The photons flip the state of the atom like a switch, sending the next photon in line either left or right. This creates a quantum router for photons that is also controlled by the photons themselves. It can be in a one or zero state and anything in between, all at the same time. This research is another step forward toward quantum computing technology, in which computation will be carried out by light instead of electricity. A long road is still ahead, but we are already well on our way.